Creo 11 introduces full multibody support for the sheet metal design environment. This enables the master model design use case where parts are designed in the context of a multibody part to then extract the individual bodies into separate parts. In this example, the multibody design started with a space claim body that was first copied and then converted into sheet metal. And then the conversion feature was used to define bends and edge ribs that split the body into several volumes. Walking down the quilt body evolution tree illustrates the subsequent steps that split out each of these volumes into a separate new sheet metal body. This procedure allowed to derive all the wall bodies from a single construction body that represented the space claim for an enclosure. Multibody part design also made it easy to create indents in the red body and the corresponding and matching cutouts in the yellow part. You can also create user-defined features that act on several bodies. This allows you to create tabs and slots in corresponding bodies at the same time without any need for external reference considerations for that design step. In the shown example, we create pockets with a tab in the yellow body and the corresponding cutouts in the blue body. Once the in-context design is complete, we can extract the individual bodies into separate parts. Use the inheritance option within the enhanced create part from body command to automate the following steps. Creation of a new sheet metal part from a selected body. Creation of an external inheritance feature that adds all bodies of the reference model to that new part. And along with that, the creation of a remove body feature to remove all bodies except the selected one. The result is a sheet metal design model with a single active sheet metal body. As such, the regular flat pattern feature can be used within the inheritance part, not requiring a flat pattern manager feature. Subsequently, you can then also create flat pattern representations or instances the usual way. During the extraction process for each body, you can then assemble the resulting parts into a design assembly driven by the multibody part. In the video illustration, the multibody part was added as a skeleton part to the assembly, which drives all the parts representing the extracted bodies. Overall, Creo 11 provides increased productivity and design efficiency by supporting the master model methodology for the design of sheet metal parts and assemblies.